Now, the Supreme Court's hearing a pivotal case. The justices are being asked to consider whether Donald Trump can be declared ineligible from Colorado's primary ballot. It's related to his conduct in connection with the violence at the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. Here's Natalie Brand. Demonstrators gathered outside the Supreme Court Thursday as the nine justices heard arguments about whether former President Trump should be kept off the 2024 ballot. Does President Trump have any kind of due process right here? The question before the high court stems from a Colorado lawsuit, which argues Trump is ineligible for a second term because of his conduct surrounding January 6th, pointing to a constitutional amendment passed after the Civil War to prevent former office holders who engaged in insurrection from regaining power. The Colorado Supreme Court agreed and ordered Trump be excluded from the state's presidential primary ballot. By engaging in insurrection against the Constitution, President Trump disqualified himself from public office. Trump's attorneys question whether the provision applies to someone who is president and dispute he engaged in an insurrection. Colorado Supreme Court's decision is wrong and should be reversed for numerous independent reasons. Legal analysts describe this as uncharted territory. The Supreme Court has never before ruled on a case like this involving the insurrection clause. The Supreme Court doesn't want to weigh in on such controversial issues that are subject of, um, you know, civil and criminal cases at this point. If Trump loses, it could be a death blow to his presidential campaign. Similar challenges have been filed in at least 35 states. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the Supreme Court. The former president isn't attending today's arguments. Political watchers are hoping for a speedy ruling. The Super Tuesday primary contests are less than a month away.